Unions have less than one month to negotiate contracts before the full impacts of right to work are felt. After the date, unions cannot include wording in the contracts that would require employees to pay union dues. As WTIU's Gretchen Frazee reports, unions are trying to minimize the effects of the legislation before the deadline. Negotiating new contracts could be difficult since employers could try to postpone the negotiations until after the March 14th deadline. Former Indiana University CWA Union President Peter Ketchmarchek says the onus will fall on the unions to communicate with their members and establish why unions are important. Continue to provide their members with facts um, and just do the best they can to continue to show their members that unions are a good thing and that we will continue to fight for you. And, and like I said, and get them to the polls. Can't stress that enough. They've got to go and vote. He says if employees understand the value of the union, they are more likely to keep their membership. And the more members, the stronger the union. Indiana Chamber of Commerce President Kevin Brenniger says the change will positively affect the state's economy, but will not negatively affect unions. There are no wages that are going to go down. There's no one who's going to be prevented from joining a union, as was uh, stated by the opponents, uh, and no, nobody's benefits are going to be changed. Brenniger says several companies have already contacted him about moving their operations to the state since Right to Work's passage. For WTIU News, I'm Gretchen Frazee.